Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Sheltered 2 Perfect Start Series, Episode 6. Now, for this episode, I am cutting nothing. So this is going to be a full 28-minute playthrough, as I'm getting quite low on footage now. We know the game's not out yet. Um, so let's see how it goes and have some fun. So we're repairing some stuff at the moment. It's raining outside. That's great. That means we're going to get more water. Although, as you can see, already got 157. In fact, it's just stopped raining. Just as I said it was raining. Dun, dun, dun. It could hear me. Okay. So we've got people out on an expedition. Uh, we're getting these repaired. You will find that it is a infuriatingly frequent process of repairing everything that is above your shelter. Uh, same as in the first game. We don't mind. We know it needs to be done. But uh, one of the things I will definitely be doing once this game comes out is making sure that the people that are building stuff have very good construction skills so that the stuff is much stronger when it's built. Also, when you destroy stuff, of course, you don't get all of the components back. So it's a, it's a difficult decision as to what and how you're going to do stuff. Okay, we can't build the battery bank yet. We need 10 pieces of wire, so let's get some wire built. For that, we need plastic and metal shavings. Uh, so how many do we need? We need another seven. Okay, so let's get these crafted so we can get this battery bank built. Okay, so that's six, so just confirm. We'll need to build one more afterwards, but uh, get rid of the repair jobs, and let's get this cable, uh, this wiring manufactured at the workbench so that we can get, as I said, that all-important battery bank, and we start being able to store energy from the wind turbines, reduce our fuel consumption, and just improve things in general, uh, which is one of those things uh, that you need to do. You can see I've only got nine fuel, uh, as you expand your shelter, the generator just guzzles that stuff and it's quite hard to get. Uh, so go and have a sleep after you've uh, made all of this wiring. Let's see how our expedition's going. Okay, they're not too far away. They're three tiles away. Uh, there's something going on at uh, that outpost. That down arrow, I think, indicates that it's been attacked and that there's a dispute going on. So for this game, you need to either ally or destroy all of the other factions that are surrounding you, as well as develop your shelter and everything else. Um, I would say that I didn't delve too deeply into uh, the faction mechanics. I did do a couple of their quests to gain uh, loyalty points. Uh, you can lose loyalty very easily, um, but me personally, when I play these kind of games, I like to ally with everyone, you know, so you can have multiple trade hubs, you can get everything that you need, uh, and just in general make your experience a bit easier. Right, let's expand the shelter, we're going to need to for that battery bank, uh, so let's get that done. Let's uh, speed up time, because obviously at the moment we've got two people sleeping and not a lot going on, so we'll just speed everything up. Wait till I wake up. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look. We need a shower and the toilet. Make sure you do the toilet first, as I said in a previous video, because of course it increases your bad hygiene. So it's best to go toilet, shower. Okay. Our guys are coming back from their expedition. They're coming back into the shelter. So let's see what lovely stuff they've brought back. Okay. Here we go. And we've got a bit of recycling stuff, um, not a huge amount. So remember, click the food tab, take the food, take all. Uh, click the medicine tab, take all. Okay, there we go. And as you'll see from food, uh, we've got a lot. And this is something that I think will be fixed uh, when the game comes out. Uh, there was a bit of a duplication issue with uh, harvesting food. So once you buy built a second planter, and you continue to plant seeds, it kind of grew exponentially. So you'd end up getting like 100 uh, basil or spinach, uh, 100 peas or 100 broccoli or whatever it is, and you'd end up just having crap loads of food. Not saying that's a bad thing, but obviously it was a broken mechanic. Uh, so we need one more piece of wire. We still haven't crafted that, so let's craft item. One piece of wire. There we go, confirm. And get that done, and then we can build the battery bank. Oh yes. We've got another blueprint there by the looks of it uh, for adding blueprint, or there might be nothing there. Can't remember to be honest. Uh, craft object, so tier two, battery bank, boom. Where are we gonna put it? Find space, click. Okay, and off he goes to do that. 
And that's something else that breaks very quickly is the battery bank. So here's all of our, uh, we've got some pea soup here, uh, spinach soup, and we've got a lot of spinach. As I said, multiplications. So let's get some of that uh, spinach into the junk pile because there's another little glitch here that food that you put into the junk pile doesn't rot. So you can use it as an external storage bay for your food. Oop, didn't mean to turn, send the can there. Okay, let's get all of that. There we go. So all that spinach is there. Take that food. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, we're reducing uh, the amount of stuff in there so we can increase uh, capacity if we harvest anything else. That'll do for now. Take one, confirm. Uh, I was just counting how many doubles we had there for making more soup so we can make more spinach soup. We've got plenty of water. Okay, George is constructing the battery bank. Whoop, whoop. Okay, now of course it's just the usual. Need to sort out everyone's needs. Uh, so get people eating, get people showering. Right, I'm in a good position here. Uh, don't really need to do anything. Okay, let's have a look at the Jenny. Okay, so that's now built. It's got an integrity of 24. It draws 15 kilowatt hours. Capacity is 3000. And as you can see, it's already charging. Now that's because the generator's got fuel and the wind turbines are turning on the outside. Now we will build, build more wind turbines as well. So we'll get a third one of those. Uh, I don't think it'll be in this video. Uh, just remembering from uh, when I played. Obviously, I've been on holiday for three weeks and uh, I'm back now. Uh, I'm broadcasting this as well as a live premiere, so feel free to comment and I will be responding because um, I'll be sitting here in the super chat uh, to answer any questions that you may have. So I'm there watching the chat. Okay, so that's ready for, nearly ready for harvesting. Nothing uh, planted in there. Okay, let's get some fuel in the jenny. There we go. All right, you're gonna eat. Let's uh, drink some water as well afterwards. Your needs require it. Uh, go and sleep, Janet. Uh, repair it first. Repair the other one. And sleep in the one with the most integrity of 27. So as you can see, people, depending on their skill level, will determine the integrity of an item when it's constructed. So you want to find out who it is that builds the highest integrity items and always use that person to construct stuff for you. That's why our battery bank has an integrity of 24 rather than 16. Okay, we have the punching bag. So again, anytime you've got some spare time or anything else, uh, you can send people down there and they can skill up. Now it's up to level five. And once you've passed level five, the amount of skill that you get decreases. That's fine. You can still keep using it. You will continue to skill up. It just happens at a slower rate. Uh, and that's when you then need to get the next tier item for uh, up to level 10, I think, or whatever it is. Uh, we can repair these. So let's get that uh, knapsack repaired. Uh, that school bag, and the school bag is all right for now. And you'll find that when you repair stuff, it uses the majority of the items that you would use to construct it from blank uh, from, from the start. But at the same time, it's just worth repairing stuff. Uh, so that's an integrity of 97. We've got two out of 10 tools as well. We've managed to find two tools through our expeditions. Uh, to make a pair of binoculars, we need one more lens and a hinge. So we might as well build them. So let's build a hinge and a lens. We can't build a hinge, okay. Let's see what we can recycle. Okay, let's recycle all this because that's going to give us some more metal scraps. And those metal scraps are very important for building stuff. Uh, so there we go. Okay, anything else? Tie? Yeah, that will, yeah, we don't really necessarily need to do it right now, but yeah, let's do some for some rubber. There we go. Anything else we want to recycle? Uh, that gives us wood. That gives us glass. That gives us batteries. Okay. There we go, and recycle. Storage as well. Uh, you always maintain and look at storage, of course. And if you need additional storage, make sure you've got the wood to do it. Wood is fairly easy to get, to be honest. Uh, but you also need the hinges and stuff uh, to go with it uh, to be able to uh, create the item. Uh, now, that needs harvesting, doesn't it? Yes, it does. OK, so harvest and select stuff to repair afterwards, so repair. And that's at 86, so might as well repair. That's at 69, that definitely needs a repair. There we go. 
two people sleeping, one person on the workbench recycling, so everyone's busy doing stuff. Very good. I do love this game. Uh, I'm looking forward to when it comes out, because obviously I haven't played it for quite a while now, because uh, we don't have access. But now you can see what I mean by this duplication. So we've got broccoli en masse, uh, so we've got loads of the stuff, which can make enough broccoli soup to uh, feed an army, so to speak. Okay, so off you go, you repair. Come on, guys, you're sleeping away the day, and meaning that I've got a lot of stuff that I can't do because I haven't got enough people to do it. Okay, you go and eat the one that's slightly rotten. You'll be fine. Let's uh, request some traders as well. Always worth requesting traders. And there are specific skills as well that will improve your chances of attracting a trader uh, when you broadcast, which is specific to the character. So that's something else worth remembering as well. Uh, you might have someone for building stuff. You might have someone for talk looking for traders. You might have your fighters that you send out on an expedition. How you skill your people is entirely up to you as the individual. And the way you play the game is entirely up to you as well. Again, I am in the chat, so any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I can answer as much as I possibly can on what I saw of the game before I lost access to it. And also what I'm hoping uh, for when the game comes out. So any tweaks or anything else. Main one being combat, because combat was just... Pff, it was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. I tried it multiple times. Um, I had occasions where I would reload the game like 10 times um, just to see if I could get an encounter to work. And the problem is, even if you've got the punching bag and you're skilling up your guys and everything else and you've got like strength 10, you've got a good weapon, you know, you've got shotguns, guns, everything else, go into a fight, the people you find have got strength 18, 20, and you just get hammered. And also they have more stamina as well. Um, so when you do an action, when you have an encounter, it requires stamina and you do like one action for each person and that's it, you're out of stamina. There's two of you, there's four of them and you, you're dead, you're dead and you die and you die and you die and it's extremely frustrating. Um, so yeah, it's one of the things I'm hoping that they improve. They did say that they would um, because they realized it was a bit of an issue. Um, so hopefully it'll be a graduated combat experience. So as your characters improve, the, the combat kind of skills with you uh, and levels. It might be a little bit harder, you know, make it a bit tough as it gets further on, but don't make it to the point where you're getting frustrated. Because anything within a game, we all know we <laughs> there's those moments in a lot of games when you end up getting to the point where you want to throw the controller at the wall um, because you've had 50 attempts at it every single time you die and everything else and then you end up going, do you know what, screw this for a game of soldiers, I'm not playing this. And then you come back like a month and a half later, the same happens and you throw the controller again and it's like, well, they've made that far too difficult, it's impossible. It doesn't happen often, but if it does happen in a game, it can break the game and your enjoyment of it and I'm sure they will tweak the beginning uh, for when the game comes out so that you don't just hit basically a concrete wall that you can't get past because concrete walls in games aren't good. You need to have a wall that you can chip away at and eventually destroy um, through hard work and playing the game. So we've got someone coming now, so let's respond. Okay, is it a trader? Ah, oh, it's a weapons guy. Okay, well, whatever. Um, oh, he's got some bullets. We'll take those. There's a crowbar there. A knife. That only needs a lower strength. As you see, you need strength 12 for an axe. Uh, baseball bat, you only need strength 6. So, you know, not too bad. And, uh, yeah, that's a high strength item as well. So, you think what you want to do. Uh, we've got plenty of soups, haven't we? We've got plenty of soups. Scroll back down. Scroll. There they are. There we go. They're worth 60 a pop. So, you know, there's 132. 264 of value. So, we can basically take everything he's got, I think. 168. What's one more? 198. 228. Get rid of one. No, it's 198. So, get rid of that. 198.75. Attempt trade. Boom. We've got all those weapons for three bowls of either broccoli or spinach soup. Something else, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, they will amend when the game comes out, although food should have high value in a wasteland because obviously it's food. Um, but whether a bowl of soup should be worth 60 uh, in comparison to the price of the weaponry, mm, debatable. Uh, as long as you can still make it fairly easily, you know, it's one of those things, that you have a, 
eureka moment when you're playing the game. You're like, oh my god, I've found something that's going to make my gameplay so much easier. Great. If they keep it in, fantastic. If they amend it so it's not so much of an OP process, that's good as well. Um, but you know, still have little bits and pieces that you can find and tricks that you can find as an individual that make your gameplay experience smoother, uh, more enjoyable, and uh, less stressful. Okay, let's set up another expedition. Next. Okay, so first of all, binoculars, definitely. Rolling that, definitely. Uh, now we've got to go to. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go to weapon. So, what's the strength? No, strength's still at only one. So, we're going to need to use the uh, knuckle dusters. It's basically all we've been able to use so far. Um, George is up to strength three, but that's still one below the requirement, and his uh, dexterity is three. Um, so, you need that for your stamina. And it's something I think you need a running machine uh, to get that improved. Not something that I actually made. Um, so it's something that once the game comes out, I will definitely be doing. Uh, right. Do we want to take any bullets, anything else? Uh, we've already put a school bag on him. Uh, okay. So go to no filter. Now let's start taking stuff that we're going to sell just in case we come across any trade opportunities. So always worth carrying. Uh, circuit board. Yeah, we'll take one of those because they're worth bucks. Okay, that's the blueprint for the flashbang proximity uh, mine, which you put outside your base, by the way. So there are blueprints that you find that will allow you to construct items so that when people come to raid your shelter, boom, they get blown up before they even get there, which is awesome. Haven't used it, so I can't say how well it works, but uh, I'm presuming it's something that's pretty cool. Okay, so we decide where we're going to go. You have a look at all the places around you. When did you last visit? Uh, that will give you some time uh, to generate some items. Uh, we've never visited the reservoir tank. Uh, okay, and uh, let's go to here, then to here, and then back again. There we go. So we'll uncover some more territory and we'll explore the water place. Um, let's just say that there you can find multiple items, but the actual water plant itself is one of those item areas that you work. So you drop your team off there, straight line, leave them there for a period of time, and they will work the water plant. And what they will generate is dirty water and clean water. So if it's very, very dry and you aren't seeing any rain in the weather forecast, you can send your guys to a water plant and actually make water, which I think is really cool um, and worthwhile as well. Okay, so let's accelerate time. Do hope you're enjoying the video. So broadcast yielded no results that's very common uh, very rarely did I actually get a trader to uh, come to my shelter uh, from broadcasts but I keep persevering uh, because obviously that trade is something that you most definitely want uh, what else can we recycle there we go those crates uh, two star microwaves are going to give us some uh, light bulbs there we go so recycle Okay, she needs the toilet, but she's already going, so that is sorted. Then she's going to go use the punching bag. I actually, uh, there you go, someone's taking stuff from the junk pile. So what? It's a bit of food. Um, the girls in my shelter are actually way stronger than the boys. Um, by the time we get to the end of this series with all of the content that I've got, you've got two very strong women and two measly uh, geeky dudes in the shelter. So the girls can uh, defend the shelter and... Uh, defend on expeditions as well okay speed up time get out there get that repaired before it disintegrates there we go ding 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 oh and the other one ding 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 and they're repaired awesome okay battery bank is smoking there you can't see it very well because there is no light however it is smoking and i haven't noticed right go to the toilet and then sleep because you need loo repair then sleep there we go and there we go. Okay, so uh, Katya there is working out, punching the punching bag, so skilling up. But we will need to get that battery bank repaired. It does uh, decrease in its, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it now, uh, integrity uh, very, very quickly. Uh, especially when the generator runs out of fuel and you're exclusively using the charge that is in the batteries. So our water purifier could probably do with being uh, repaired, but you know there's no huge rush on that. Let's see where they are. Oh, we've uncovered another outpost. There we go. Awesome stuff. And lots of lots of water in this uh, map of mine. It's procedurally generated, so each time uh, you start, it'll be different. So let's have a look at the uh, gang. So we've got the old clan and Los Muertos. 
Uh, we can communicate with them. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so they're still carrying on. That's their route. Uh, there we go. So you can see that's controlled by the old clan. Uh, down here you've got another one. Uh, there we go. So that's Los Muertos. So just seeing the uh, surrounding area and who controls what. Okie kokey. So Katya has nearly finished her punching cycle. We'll call it. Or exercise or workout. Okay, there we go. And while you're there, let's uh, repair the battery bank because it was at 18 out of 24. And the storage is at 385 out of 3000. As you, and as you can see, it's still going up. Now, I found that when you shut the generator down, uh, the capacity within those batteries actually lasts quite well. Uh, and once you've got enough wind generators, you basically become power dependent, uh, independent. Uh, from the generator, which is cool. Uh, as in fact, it's quite handy. And more than that, you can also construct a lightning conductor because as you can see in two days, it's going to be 14 degrees Celsius and there's going to be a thunderstorm. So we've got black rain tomorrow, we've got rain the day after and a thunderstorm in the middle. So if we had a lightning conductor, boom, that would go straight into the batteries. I'm sure there's some capacitors and everything else built into it so it didn't just blow the batteries up. Uh, right, eat more food, of course, a standard practice within your shelter. Okay, and there we go. Make some more and confirm. We're at 116 water, but we've got some black rain coming in tomorrow, which will top up everything. Uh, is it worth planting more seeds? Probably not at the moment because we've got a food mountain, uh, so that's fine. Uh, we've got 30 meals at the moment, that's plenty. Okay, let's speed up time. There we go, catch you. Go and eat and uh, then make us some more soups. Eh? There we go, bing bing. And let's have a look at the faction goals, see where we are with stuff. So increase workbench crafting speed. We've only got three more items to craft and our workbench speed will increase. Uh, workbench mastery, uh, 47 out of 100. So that's a speedy builder. Objects crafted, 21 out of 30. Uh, 50 out of 100 for qualified chef. Uh, animal skinning, uh, that's harvesting. Uh, traders offer an additional trade value per item. We're already at one star for that. Advanced mechanics, uh, we haven't done yet. Maintenance training, green fingers. So this is all different skills and challenges that you need to do. So we're 100% for building 101. Craft tier three recipes from the drafting table. We need to upgrade one more item. So we need to find something to upgrade and then we will unlock uh, the next thing. So let's see what we can do. Hey, there we go. We can upgrade the efficiency. Boom. And that will unlock our tier three. Okay, drink water because you're thirsty and you're going to need to eat as well. So eat some of that. There we go. Okay. What else do we want to do? Here we go. We're upgrading. Upgrading. And skill builder. Tier 3 recipes from the drafting table. Okay, so let's have a look. Tier 3. What have we got? Oh, we've got the red bed. And we can build another generator if you have a sea of fuel. I don't. Okay, security cameras, uh, high quality toilets and showers. We've got, um, okay, so that is a, there we go. Yep, we've got an efficient shower as well. And we've also got a heavy punching bag. So that's from for level 10 to 15. We've got a strip light to light stuff up. Oh, and look, we can render the walls. We can start plastering the rooms. And that's what you need before you can start applying paint. We've got a big massive water tank. That's great. So 100 units of water in there. So that's pretty epic. And there's that red bed. Comfy bed. Oh, I do love a comfy bed. And we've got a running machine. We've got a gel cell. Uh, wall fans for cooling stuff down. That's awesome. We've got a radiator as well. So a convection heater. Uh, we've got even better storage as well. So next to that is some awesome storage by the looks of it. Yep, military storage. So expand storage by 3,000. We've got a large medicine cabinet. Cool stuff. Uh, a large greenhouse uh, for outside so that you can grow higher temperature plants in colder weather. Uh, that's pretty cool to have. Uh, we've also got a mine there, so a landmine for defending your base. Uh, so you need some uh, cordite for that. And there's the lightning rod. So harvest power from lightning strikes. And it will store the power inside any batteries in the shelter. A ceramic sink. Uh, so that is a mirror as well. So 
tr water goes to the purifier and then can be reused. And of course you've got a microwave. Yeah, that's a tier three cooking item, a microwave. I would have liked an oven, uh, like a proper oven and hob kind of thing, but no, it's a microwave. So access is tier three meal crafting. Mm. A microwave and tier three meal crafting. I don't think those things belong in the same sentence, but hey, hey, we don't mind, do we? It's a game, it's how it's been built and we will love it. Okay, so do we want a comfy bed? Fuck yeah, we do. But you know what? That'll be in the next video. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and I do hope you're waiting as much as I am for the next game, uh, for the game to be released. Uh, because I'm most certainly sitting on tenterhooks checking Steam uh, to see when it's actually going to be released. I'm waiting at least for a live date, which they haven't, uh, they haven't mentioned yet. Can we put this bed down? No, not yet. Okay, well, next video, we'll definitely get that bed in. But until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I've enjoyed spending the time in the chat with you. Till then, see you next time.